students, we are talking about the qualities and characteristics of professional social workers. So we see that optimism, optimism, a very significant characteristic which should be acquired by a professional social worker. And in order to influence and uh, motivate others, the worker must believe in change and development. And first of all, must be uh, herself or himself self-motivated. This can be realized by maintaining a positive view of life, uh, maintaining a, a brighter side of the situation. A person who, revel, who revels in the negative aspects of life will have difficulty uh, serving as an instrument of growth for others. And most of the time, the social worker is dealing with uh, tense, stressful, and painful uh, conditions of the client. But worker should not leave hope. And this involves an optimistic belief and the ability to convert obstacles into the positive opportunities uh, for the client. And uh, another quality which is uh, again very important for a social worker is the quality of enthusiasm. In order for intervention, um, uh, in order to initiate any intervention uh, attempts to be regarded as uh, credible, the social worker must be enthusiastic. Uh, this involves an intense interest, desire, and bubbly zeal. This is usually accompanied by a sense of humor that is both uh, contag uh, contagious and motivating. A uh, social worker should be energetic, full of potential, and with high zeal and zest uh, while dealing with the stressful, uh, miserable, uh, conditions of uh, the client, um, of the groups, and providing a solution to any social problem. Uh, the social work practitioner should be very enthusiastic uh, to keep the moral the, of the client high as well. Uh, then the worker should have the ability of uh, spontaneity. The social worker should also display human feelings. The application of techniques, approaches, and principles of social work doesn't mean being rigid and artificial and snob um, in his or her attitude manifestation. Uh, unforced and unplanned expressions of feelings in the course of natural exchanges is therefore sometimes necessary to motivate change growth and development and to bring positive change in the behavior patterns of uh, the client and uh, uh, the growth and development uh, from group to community level. Uh, the social practitioner should acquire a natural way to respond uh, to his uh, environment in which he or she as a social practitioner is trying to uh, facilitate uh, their clientele. A uh, social worker should have also the quality and the characteristics of uh, goodwill. Uh, involvement in other people's problems and needs should not be out of a sense of duty. The relationship with clients should be sincere and uh, uh, radiate warmth. If this is expressed both verbally and non-verbally, then it uh, ought to be easy to connect with people. Uh, so a social work pract practitioner must have uh, goodwill for their uh, uh, client. A social worker should be uh, very open-hearted. The social worker ought not to be uh, uh, reticent with the client system. 
as this can hamper trust uh, in the worker. It involves the worker knowing how to reveal him or herself and how to be a familiar person uh, without contributing to the discomfort of the client system. The worker should tolerate the other opinion, uh, welcoming to the new ideas, opinions, and uh, in any situation, the worker must be open-hearted to accept the client uh, as a uh, individual and as uh, a whole entity. Um, there should be a strong uh, quality of sincerity on the part of uh, the social work practitioner. Uh, in order to be regarded by the client system as credible, the social worker should be honest in his or her actions and motives. Uh, this requires sincerity in the way in which the worker expresses himself or herself so that there is a uniformity between the behavior, words, and attitudes. A uh, worker's professional obligation is to put all the efforts to resolve the client's problems with the whole sincerity uh, on his or her personal and professional level. Uh, the most important, a very significant quality which a social practitioner should acquire is the quality of creativity. In social work, it is frequently necessary to create something from nothing, to create something even from nothing, uh, to create encouraging from discouraging, light from the darkness, or to change and develop things. Social worker must be creative. This requires being original in the course of the intervention process and in particular, the ability to present the abstract in a concrete, clear manner, in a solid manner even, the social workers must have the ability to present the vague and abstract uh, social uh, phenomena. Uh, the social workers uh, must be adaptable. Social work has to do with attempting to bring about change. For that reason, the worker ought to be able to adapt himself or herself according to uh, the changes and uh, circumstances. This implies an easy transition from one person and situation to another person or to another situation. Discretion is another important quality and characteristic of social work practitioner. Um, actually, the nature of social work requires of the worker uh, to continuously make judgments in accordance with accurate and objective insights. A social work practitioner has to be very objective and accurate in assessing uh, and measuring uh, the any social situation, any social reality. And this involves choices and decision making regarding ethical issues, strategies, processes in uh, uh, when they are going, while adopting in social work intervention. Social worker must be energetic. Uh, this is a very positive quality which must be acquired by the professional social worker. Uh, the, the dynamics of social work requires uh, of the worker to be vigorous, reflecting his, her energy. This means the worker's energy is required to initiate change and development and correspondingly will determine to a large extent 
the energy that the client system will need to invest in change and development. A social work practitioner must have a strong leadership potential. A social work requires of the worker to provide continuous leadership. The worker must be able to utilize his or her leadership potential in all the situations and on all levels to influence people as to the benefits of intervention. This includes, amongst other, fulfilling a variety of intervention uh, roles.